Hey guys, it's Sly, and if you know me, you know me, and if you don't, well, you've come to the right video. 23 year old content creator from the boot state of Louisiana. And outside of gaming, my hobbies include reading, working out, and taking care of my beautiful huskies. I've been streaming for roughly a year and a half now. I started back in September of 2022. During this time, I was traveling and streaming was a secondary source of income. As of right now, I am working full time doing pretty much my dream job, uh, entry level security analyst. It is a learning curve, I guess, but I do love my job and it enables me to stream and hang out with my friends and my community. If you're not made it to one of my streams, you probably see me in your timeline, whether that's good or bad. A man's got to make his payout. Sorry, even if it's fucking 30 bucks, dude, that's lunch. Yeah, what I want from the gas station? Please don't ban me, Elon. Just a little bit about what I do on stream. I'm a variety streamer that plays an array of FPS tax shooters and RPGs, ranging from Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Halo Infinite, Overwatch, CSGO, and Valorant. As if playing and streaming these games weren't enough, I do enjoy challenging myself to hit max rank in a set amount of time. Why do I hate myself? Since the release of this Day Rising recruitment challenge, I've been working behind the scenes with two amazing editors, Fumes and Maxwell. An attempt to bring my name and all my persona to life. It really all starts with the question of why do I enjoy streaming? Where did it all start? Really the most important part about hitting that go live is the feeling of nostalgia. You know, watching my dad play Resident Evil 5 on the hardest difficulty on the weekend or a Saturday night watching him play Far Cry series. That shit, it, it rings bells, bro. Like, it brings that enjoyment out of me. Going live is another way to bond with you guys, bond with other gamers. Share off to my friends in my community share my progression along the way i definitely never rage i'm just that good what are we doing bro oh my fucking god i'm done dude i don't want to fucking play no more why are we over fucking grenade what are we fucking doing why are we taking fights we don't want to fucking take god fucking damn it bro it's not fucking hard some of us are hard i'm not gonna say you i don't miss my shots it's only headshots around here you know something slight haha <laughs> What is wrong with my aim? <laughs> oh my god! Yo, the greatest ever fucking do it, guys! And I'm always serious. In a competitive setting, I never make jokes or say sus things or have down bad moments. Twerky work my worky. Sorry. Work that little breadstick ass. Actually, Viper's kind of thick. She really is. Oh god. Yo, imagine her in a Catwoman outfit. Oh my god. Sorry. I'm down bad. I need to regain. Fucking gouge my ears out. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> Now that you've gotten to know me a little bit and my purpose of why I stream and who I am, I want to talk goals, aspirations, if you will. Side note, goals for me are small improvements that I can make, things that I can change to better my brand and to bring more exciting things to my community. One of my biggest goals is to invest, to invest into my, my personal brand by posting more. I'm a Twitter guy. I don't post on TikTok. I don't post on YouTube. And I barely post on Instagram. That's where it's going to start. That being said, I'm officially commissioning a well-known short form manager, Obey Fumes. This is going to help kickstart my short form growth and content on both TikTok and YouTube. He has an amazing record of providing growth and success amongst all of his clients. Honestly, it's always been really hard for me to find a balance. A balance between working, the gym, keeping up with my studies, and really everyday life. So this will really help me in many ways by providing great content going forward from cracked moments on stream. Funny moments with my friends when we were playing Escape the Backroom or Forest or Friday the 13th. Hey dad, hey dad, you're there. Ethan, are you alive? <laughs> To be able to work alongside of him, I'm very, very thankful. Fumes, you're the fucking good. Another goal of mine is to start collabing with more content creators over the next few months. Whether they're currently in there or grinding for there. Over the course of this RC, I've gotten the chance to play with a couple of members and link up. Arranging from Tanzer. Absolute goat, by the way. Cody, which is surprisingly very, very good at Valorant, considering that he's a COD sniper. Julia. Fall. Fall. <laughs> You win your blacklist from there. She's Julia and Victoria. I'm no scoping right now. Jesus, man. <laughs> Ritz fucking amazing. I love him to death. With that opportunity to link up and play like various games like Valorant and Halo Infinite, games that they're typically not on in a COD based community. I even got the chance to play with Fugitives on Valorant. Like, dude. 
feudives. All right, feudives, you're gonna get a three one round here, I believe. Right now, I'm manifesting it for my new for my new montage. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, here. right here, right here. Oh, damn, shit on. Do it again. Damn, shit on. Oh. Oh, wait! Let's go. Wait, wait, you actually... Yeah, you collided. That's actually crazy. When a COD sniper plays Valorant. How cool is that? You does not Valorant, dude. Who would have thought? And I have to say it was very refreshing. It was very nice to play new games and get to meet new creators. This RC has really helped me not only meet new people, but find a, a newfound love for content and a passion for growing. I can proudly say that regardless of if I'm picked up, I'm very excited for the upcoming opportunities, and I've really really can't wait to see where I am next year. At the end of the day, this was an experience and I'll never forget the opportunity to grind for Dare Rising. Really, I want to say thank you guys over at Dare Rising. You don't understand how big of an opportunity this is for a lot of us. Really just a huge shout to everyone that's been working behind the scenes to make this possible. You guys are the absolute goats and I can't wait to see what else you guys do for us. With that, I want to say thank you to my friends for always pushing me. And I mean, always pushing me to be a better me. I've met so many cool ass people since the start of all of this. You guys have really allowed me and shown me a whole new side of gaming and community and experience in itself. Thirdly, a big thank you to my community for the endless love and support throughout this journey. You guys are the best. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be streaming every day after work. None of this would be possible without all of you. And I really hope to make some of you proud by making their slight a thing. Anyways, guys, I'm slight. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.